Hello everyone! Well, we have uh, an event in Town Square that we're going adventuring. And... Uh, <clears throat> Aha! Yeah! It's the time Louis met that dog and gave his, uh, his lunch. So, no need to stop by. Okay, we need some food. <coughs> so now we're deeper into this place. And looks like where things are gonna get hot. Oh crap. If there's something I dislike here is the tentacle monsters because as we go deeper they get stronger. So since I'm trying to play while talking, uh, let's just say that uh, since I'm not very good at the game <laughs> from the get-go, uh, this makes things much more dangerous. Ah, oh, pot stand, that's good. Alright. So there's the teleporter. We're gonna go exploring. Toothpicks plus three. A wool hat. Nothing extraordinary, but hats are good. <clears throat> However, I doubt we'll keep it. So we I'm just sliding here. Yay! <laughs> na 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 It's the ice capades today, people! Yay! <laughs> Hey, it lasts a long time. Alright. Whoop! I'm gonna try and be careful. And I do mean try, because <clears throat> whenever I talk, I expect things like this to happen. Ah, crap. It was too close. Ah, well, that's food. Uh, things get dangerous when uh, uh, everyone, or just the enemy, gets double damage. So that's when you die really quickly. To whom? Do you ask? These guys, of course. You see? <clears throat> I just got 16 damage. I would have gotten 32 if it had been. Yikes! A bat wing. Na 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 bat wing. That guy's gonna die. Oh yeah. Whoa! Aha! Ooh, nice one! He turned an ice plus four. Sorry, I just ate. Ah, crap. I could, I could avoid this uh, damage, but I'm just not fast enough. And things would be even worse if I had taken my kills, but thankfully, this is just after dinner time, so... <laughs> Although I'm slightly woozy, ate a bit too much, so yeah, digestion. Nothing too bad though. Whoa! Crap, I hate those guys. Imagine if we still had our first weapon. <laughs> oh crap, not again! Ah. I hate those guys. I really want my level ASAP. 
so I can heal up without using any items. Crap! Oh, well, that's always good. A fin fan. And the thing is that. Whoa, that was close. I really don't remember any recipe using fin fans. So, yeah. I really don't know if it's worth keeping them. Do, do, do. Whoop! Whoop! <laughs> okay, so <laughs> talk about uh, playing like a noob. All right. Thankfully, we're very close to a level. I hope I can get there <laughs> before I die. <laughs> It was a pretty big floor, wasn't it? I saw you coming, asshole. Okay. So what have I been doing lately? Whoa! Didn't notice him. Whoopsie! Ah, crap! Okay. So, I have mainly been playing two games uh, the last four days or so. Yay, we got our level. One, but they're both sci fi themed. Uh, I nearly completed uh, a campaign on XCOM Enemy, uh, Enemy Unknown. And not enemy within. I still don't have the expansion because it costs thirty dollars, and that's a bit uh, too expensive for my taste. Uh, if I see it on um, on sale, however, I certainly will get it. Uh, oh, talk about dangerous, dangerous stuff. So yeah. Uh, been playing a lot of uh, XCOM. I, I love that game, and not necessarily just that game. As um, I played the uh, well, the original I played just a little bit. Uh, however, I played Terror from the Deep a lot when I was younger, and uh, and God, that game was tough. Oh man, it was tough, and. Uh, XCOM, although they change many things compared to the original, it's still a lot of fun. There are plenty of things they did right, and only a few things they did wrong. And it's also a game that I might do a let's play about. Simply because it's a perfect game to have a let's play. Uh, to, uh, to do a let's play because you can name your come on thank you you can name your soldiers after your friends your family your sub subscribers <laughs> and then watch them die horribly that's always uh, entertaining so it would probably be fun to, to do uh, however you know, I'm not 100% uh, sure that uh, I'll do something like that. However, if you would like the idea, just be sure to uh, comment about it uh, in the comment section. Wow, that's why the comments are there. Okay, ooh, another uh, good one. So yeah, uh, it's a uh, possibility for a future Let's Play. However, nothing is set in stone. As of course, I will continue this Let's Play until the story is over. So until we have finished uh, paying the debt. And of course, I will continue doing the Blood Bowl Let's Plays. And I do mean Let's Plays because 
the goblin campaign is getting close to the end so I plan on doing another one afterwards so when the time comes oops we'll do another poll okay uh, sure let's use this Plus four, very nice. Okay, so yeah, I've been playing a lot of uh, XCOM. And, uh, oh, that's a very decent item. Not incredible, but it's nice value. Oh boy, that was my fault. Toothpick, plus two. And yeah, so what is the other game? Oh crap, I wasn't fast enough. Well, just gonna heat it. So, dee -dee 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 -dee. So the other game I've been playing is uh, Mass Effect 3. But not the game itself, but the multiplayer part of it. Because, okay, uh, I'll be frank, whoops, I really, really hate uh, FPS games like Call of Duty and that uh, that kind of stuff is just not for me uh, but then again I'm not saying they're bad games I'm just saying they're not for me and one of the reasons is because I suck <laughs> I suck at them I'm just not uh, good at Twitch gaming uh, but mostly I really dislike the fact that they're pretty much uh, meant to be played as PvP. Sure, you have the uh, the campaigns, but w once again, I said, I suck at those games. However, the Mass Effect 3 multiplayer has one nice thing going for it, and that's probably something that you might not like, but the multiplayer is co-op and I don't mind co-op I I enjoy co-op so that's why I play that uh, that game's multiplayer while I refuse to touch other games that have uh, multiplayer components one of my favorite games of all times well two games were uh, Heroes of Might and Magic 2 and 3 and I played a lot of multiplayer it was always co-op always I played with my friends and we played co-op against uh, the computer at uh, very high difficulties for uh, Heroes 2 we could play at uh, impossible Heroes 3 I think it was more difficult so we couldn't uh, just play on impossible anyway so yeah uh, I really enjoy the game and the fact that you there are so many things that you can uh, unlock the weapons uh, new characters and such so yeah been playing a lot of that uh, the last two days and I needed a break because I've uh, been playing, uh, if you're familiar with the Mass Effect, uh, Mass Effect games, I was playing uh, the Volus characters, you know, the sort of uh, fatsos into uh, environment suits. <laughs> and they're not very good characters, but uh, I'm playing them so that I can unlock uh, achievements. Another thing that I don't do very often, uh, working on achievements, but for some reason, yeah, I, I, I like, uh, I like doing so with Mass Effect 3. Whoopsie! Ah, we're gonna throw something away here. Uh, toothpicks, maybe? No, souvenir charm. There's our friend the teleporter. We still have one floor to explore. 
So yeah, been playing a lot of those two games lately. Although I have promised myself that uh, I would uh, play some more Final Fantasy X uh, HD Remaster. Because I, I've always loved those games. Well, that game, actually. Uh, let's throw that out. Leave some space for something better. So yeah, aside from those two games, uh, let's see. I'm taking a little break from uh, Marvel Heroes, simply because I, I just played way too much. And uh, Taeki is good. We're gonna throw one of the two picks away. Trying to keep all the food po uh, possible. So what was I saying? Oh yeah, Marvel Heroes. Yeah, I just played too much, so I need a little break. And uh, soon they're releasing Psylocke and the Wolverine uh, a rework. They will probably be out by the time uh, this video is uploaded. So I'll be busy with these two characters. Uh, I just wanted to uh, just uh, have a, new, a nice change of pace before they come out. Okay, well, I guess uh, there's nothing else to find here. Oh yeah, that was good. Ice capades. Oh, I have two enemies here. This could get tricky! I hate the tentacle monsters. Uh. And we're getting closer to a level, so I... Ooh! That's always nice. I hadn't seen it. Whoa! Whoops. Okay. I'm tempted to use some food here. I will. Maybe it was a better apple. Yikes. Uh, I'm gonna eat that, so... All right. I I have plenty of older games on my computer now. Uh, <laughs> I use three or is it four different uh, systems? Uh, you know, this game, uh, Reset Here, I have on Steam. Uh, there's the teleporter. I also use uh, Origin for uh, Mass Effect games. I use Uplay for Child of Light. Uh, and uh, I also have the GameStop app. Oopsie. Uh, the GameStop app used to be called Impulse. And uh, it was created by Stardock. So, uh, since I own uh, a few of Stardog games, I had gotten them on Impulse back then. And then GameStop bought Impulse. And for a while, I was able to play my games. You know, uh, for example, if you remember the few uh, um, videos I made for uh, Mountain Blade Warband, uh, that was on, uh, on my GameStop app. Whoops. Crap. Oh. However, uh, when GameStop uh, grabbed, uh, grabbed uh, 
this. I'm, I'm trying to do two things at the same time. I'm just not good enough to do that. I need to throw something out. Ugh. Well. And uh, I notice a cherry. Cherry. Cherry baby. Yeah, I know. I'm reaping your ears right now. So yeah, uh, GameStop had some problems with the app because they they had also bought other systems and they started to try and merge everything. However, that proved to be a problem for me since I was not able to merge the accounts that I had and I had to uh, contact their uh, their customer service. As you know, uh, corporate customer service tend to be uh, iffy at best. So uh, the first time I called them, I had some trouble uh, explaining what was uh, what what was my problem and how to fix it. And eventually, we were able to find a fix. However, nothing that they they could uh, do on their end. So I had to create a new account, and they transferred everything I had bought on that account. So all right, that was annoying, but you know, I had access to all my games once more. However, the problem resurfaced, and that was not fun. Uh, because once again, no access to all my games. Well, not all my games, but most of them. And back then, I, I did not use Steam. So most of my stuff was there. So yeah, the problem resurfaced, and then, uh, I knew I was going to buy a new computer eventually, so I was not really excited at the prospect of calling customer service again <laughs> since I had not had a, a very good experience with them in the past but I still did and they came to the same conclusion as the first time so basically create a new account and we'll transfer everything I'm I was not really surprised. I I have a feeling that they got a lot of calls like mine. <laughs> so the GameStop app is crap. Complete another crap. And their merging thing it was ah, oh, man. Anyway, so I decided to wait until I got a new computer. And even when I got that new computer, I did not call uh, them for a long time. And a few days ago, I decided to buy the bullet, and I called them. And as suspected, it was a horrendous experience. Uh, I ended up talking with a guy who couldn't understand a word of English. And uh, it was a serious pain. Uh, we went all uh, through all the steps, just as I had in the past. And all the things he suggested were things I had already tried, of course. But he would not understand the fact that, hey, I've already tried that. Didn't work. And there's the, the crab. There we go. And this is how you beat it. Just beat it. Just beat it. There you go. Explode! Yay! As you can see, it's not too difficult. Okay. Nothing I can do with that one. Okay, I'll go here. Come with me, my love. To the sea, the sea of love. 
Okay. Uh, I'm... no. <laughs> I was too far to do anything good with it. As you can see, you can't really damage it. And now I can't even have access to this guy. Crap. And there we go. Did it drop its loot? I guess not. Well, that's crap. Oh well, I still have all my food, so let's go back home. So yeah, I I had a lot of problems with uh, the GameStop, but eventually I called once more, and the other person uh, understood everything I sp uh, I said. <gasps> Hallelujah! And I was able to solve the problem in in minutes. So. Now I have, once again, access to all uh, my old games, like uh, Mountain Blade, Warband, uh, uh, Europa Universalist 3, uh, you know, a bunch of games that I, I can't remember. Oh yeah, Planescape Torment, uh, Baldur's Gate 1 and 2, you know, great stuff. Uh, so, I might, well, at one point, uh, take a look at uh, what I have price of candy has increased and see if there's anything uh, uh, that I I could do an LP about anyway okay so this is the event explaining what uh, wow what those messages are uh, I guess a wooden ch chest piece iron armor Wooden bands are really not worth that much. Okay, I think I have um, two pieces of armor. I guess I'm gonna keep those. All right. Uh, is there anything happening outside? Yep. Uh, okay. So yeah, we'll see. We'll see. I'm not promising anything because, you know, I, I, I would rather not uh, do too many plans in advance. Uh, anyway, that's pretty much all I wanted to talk about today. It was a very long trek uh, through the dungeon, so... Yeah, I think I'm gonna stop right here and go play a little bit more of Mass Effect 3 multiplayer. <laughs> if you have that game, hey, uh, just can always contact me. I think I'm I'm called Dwarven Roar on uh, Mass Effect 3. Anyway, I'll see you next time. Bye bye.